Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about four mistakes that a lot of people make when they are starting raised bed gardening. And I'm gonna to talk to you about these four because they're four mistakes that I've made. So I've learned from my mistakes. Um, hopefully you don't have to learn from yours. You can learn from my mistakes as well. So number one, the size of the beds. Um, when you create your beds, you don't wanna make them any more than about four feet wide because you wanna be able to reach both sides of the bed without having to walk through the soil and compress the soil. So that's number one thing is you wanna make sure your beds are no more than four or five feet wide so you can reach across the bed from one side or the other side. Number two is location of the beds. You wanna make sure you plant them in a place or you put your beds in a place that you're gonna have easy access to, that's gonna get sufficient sunlight, that also can get water. So if you have a sprinkler system, you might wanna make sure that your sprinkler system can reach the full ends of the beds. Um, number three, the soil. The quality of soil you put in there is tremendously important. When I started my beds, I got soil bulk from a nursery it was just random soil i threw it in there i thought i'd be fine it was not fine i had to do a lot of mending to the soil to get my soil to a good level so don't make that mistake and the final thing is making sure that you put seeds in your beds that are suited for your zone if you just go into your lowe's or home depot and you just pick up packages of seeds because you want to grow this and that you're probably not necessarily gonna get the seeds that are best suited for your environment. So a lot of times the best thing you can do is go online, do some research, um, talk to the, to the seed sellers, go to like actual sites where they sell seeds and they can guide you on what seeds are gonna be best for your area, what seeds are, are pest resistant. Um, and that's tremendously important to getting a good yield, all right? So if that helps, shoot me a like, um, subscribe, follow me. I'm Andre the Farmer everywhere. All right, see you guys. Bye.